Hi, I'm Jen Bellows, General Manager for Faust Winery, and we're sitting here at the new Faust House. I'm really excited because we have a new home for Faust in Napa Valley, and we hope to share more with you in the future. And I don't know if you can hear, but it's pouring rain here in Napa. This is one of the wettest Januaries on record, and that always puts a smile on a Californian's face. I think our drought may be ending, uh, which is great. But I wanted to take this opportunity to share with you what I think makes Faust special and what we're all about at Faust. And that's our focus on making damn good Cabernet. And I really feel like we're able to do this through our grape sourcing. And the team loves to say that Cabernet needs, needs one of two things in order to be great. And it either needs to work hard or it has to have a view. And so what do we mean by that? Well, working hard, like Cabernet that's grown in a cool growing season needs, it takes the entire harvest for those grapes to mature and get ripe. And then grapes with a view, up on a mountainside overlooking the valley. Like if I walk up into a vineyard and I look out and say, oh my gosh, this is a gorgeous view high odds that that cavernet grown on that site in that volcanic soil, the mountainside, thin soil, that those grapes are going to be great. It takes a lot to get those vines down to where they can extract water and nutrients and really mature the fruit into something special. And so at Faust, we, we get our grapes from the famous two properties, their state vineyards in Rutherford and Coonsville, as well as from select mountainside sub-AVAs like Howell Mountain, Mount Beater, Atlas Peak. And I think the, the core of this wine comes from our Coombsville estate, and Coombsville's Napa's newest sub-AVA, and it's in the southernmost part of Napa, and it's one of the coolest growing regions in California. I think early on a lot of people thought you're crazy to plant Cabernet there, and the Hunes family is one of the first to plant Cabernet, and it's beautiful. Now it takes the entire time, it's some of the last fruit that we picked during harvest, but those tannins mature and they're smooth and silky and we get this intense kind of blue-black fruit in that wine. I think that really shows through in the bottle. And we also get grapes from the family's Rutherford property, Rutherford's further up valley, but that the, the property has a lot of different exposures, topography, and soil types and we get a lot more red fruit and it's a lot softer wine and it kind of fills out the center of Faust. And then we also work with growers in the mountainside AVA, so Atlas Peak, Hell Mountain, Mount Vita, they each have different characteristics, but I would say in general, mountainside Cabernet, it's big, kind of uh, big chunky tans. When people talk about big Cabernet, like that's what they're talking about is mountainside Cab. And so we use the wines that we make from each of these vineyards to put together a blend that really showcases the best of what each of those wines has to offer. And um, it's, it's really fun because the, this is crafted by the Hineas family, and the Hineas family is all about quality. And um, it's, it's fun to just focus on making a killer cab. And we're doing a lot of fun stuff at Faust. Like I said, we've got our new home. We're really excited to share this with you. And we partnered with a graffiti artist out of New York. His name is Faust New York. You should look him up. Ask. Um, we've done some fun magnums. We've got more stuff coming out later this year that we're partnering with him. He came here and, and spent a couple of weeks in residence uh, designing bottles. And it's just been fun to expand outside of Napa Valley. Follow us on Instagram at Faust Wine and keep up with all the neat things that we're doing. And we look forward to welcoming you out here in Napa sometime.